Hello, my friends. Welcome to another video. So this is video number three and the final video in the Kintsugi series. So if you have not seen video one and video two, you may want to go back and watch before you see this one. So today I'm going to do this one a little bit different. We're still going to follow the same type of theme, except I'm not going to use washi tape on this. I have some beautiful, if you don't know what this is, be warned, it is expensive. I paid, I believe, $15 for these two little sheets, but this is real abalone shell that they press into a sheet. It is very delicate. but absolutely gorgeous. Um, let me see this one. I may do better with the flash on. This is like a mother of pearl. <gasps> this is so beautiful. So anyway, you can break it up, add it into your art. However, if you don't want to buy the real expensive stuff, I found an alternative, believe it or not, they use these in guitar making, uh, specifically in the neck part of the guitar. It's called veneer, and it's pretty cool looking. Kind of the same effect, but I'm made out of the real stuff. So I got both sheets, I believe, and they're double the size uh, for $10. These were $10 each. So, expensive, but if you're interested, I'll try to put the link in the description for this. And this I got on AliExpress, I believe it was, AliExpress.com. Comes from China, it takes a long time to get it, just be warned. So anyway, my idea today is I'm going to take this, I'm going to break it into pieces and I'm going to incorporate it into my art so it looks like it's shattered throughout the whole of the triangle here. So I'm going to get my supplies out. I'll show you what I'm using and we will get started. All right, here's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need some paint brushes and or sponge brushes. Um, you're going to need some kind of a glitter. Of course, all of this is optional, though. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to be using, as I said, the abalone sheet. I have some outlining pens, which is just like a puffy paint in the color of pearl. Um, my base color is going to be this mouse color from Josonia. Then I'm going to be using... My interference colors from Color Art mixed with the Vivid Enamel from Color Art. I'm going to be using um, some matte medium to mix my glitter up into. I'm going to be using that as glue, but you can use a clear glue. And to glue down my abalone sheet pieces, I'm going to be using regular gloss gel. Now, why this? I like this because it's got some body and it's a really strong adhesion. Um... But you can use Mod Podge will work fine too. I just like this because when I'm pasting things down that are thin like this, sometimes they'll slide around on the canvas. This has some body so it keeps it in place nice and tight. All right. So that's where we're going to start. I may add in a few things. If I do, I will tell you what they are at the time. Got a little bit of a dent here in the canvas, but you're not going to see that obviously. So here's, here's the game plan. I want this to look like a major chunk of this is broken and extending off of that broken piece fractures with little bits of this in there, little bits of interference. This is going to be a mother of pearl dream when it's done, or at least I hope it will be. So let's get started. You're so great, standing, talking, you got me checkmate. checkmate. No one's 
Just loving this moment 
this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay forever just loving So it's dry. I absolutely love it. Now, these areas, the white areas and the abalone shell don't look like much right now. But let me get this resin on and show you what actually happens here because it's going to be phenomenal. The color art products, this, this, um, which one was it? Cinnamon brown will be absolutely gorgeous. The glitter, all of it. So we're going to put some resin on. But first, before we do that, we're going to do our dusting with some mica again. Since we're sticking with the abalone theme, we're going to use the abalone color from Color Art. We're going to put a little bit on our paintbrush and tap it onto the dry canvas. I did this with the other two pieces as well. Again, if you did not see those videos, go check out the two other themes that I did. I love this one. I'm so happy that I put the brown in there with that. It's just a very classy looking piece. So here it is. What this is going to do is it's going to make it look like I have rainbow glitter in the colors here that are this taupe or what was this called? Mouse was the name of that color. So dry brush. Just put the little bit on the tip there like that. And then over 
those areas we're gonna go like this and then we're gonna tap the canvas off and whatever sticks sticks so I'm just gonna continue tapping this on and then when I'm done I'll go back with a dry brush and just clean up the areas where I don't want it if any landed there by accident and then once that is done I will be putting on a coat of KS liquid art ultra uv resin the link is in the description for that i want to know in the comments if you enjoyed this series i have to be honest i had a blast and i could make probably another 100 of these before i get bored it's almost like putting a puzzle together so it challenges me a little bit in the sense where you know you you draw out the areas and then you got to kind of place the colors where you think they would look the best and coming up with a design is a little challenging so it's fun i liked it and i want to know if you like it leave a comment in the on the video when you're done watching let me know out of all three pieces which one you liked best number one number two or number three and don't forget, we have a Facebook group. If you're going to try this, make sure you share it with us over at United We Pour Fluid Art Group. When you resin a painting, always try to leave the sides till the end. A lot of hair and dust gets caught up on the sides. So if you're to rub your hand on that side and then go back to the surface, you may just end up with more dust and particles in your resin that you want. So I highly suggest doing that. So now we're going to torch and then we're going to put it to bed for 24 hours and then you'll see the final result. But what kind of friend would I be if I didn't give you a sneak peek right now? <laughs> I tell you, absolutely gorgeous. That abalone shell, I have got to get some. I, some more. I cannot believe that something like that exists in nature and uh the world is really a beautiful place i'll tell you if we can get past all the craziness it really is a beautiful place so that uh abalone shell really really made me excited i liked it a lot so here we go through the magic of editing we have the final results in a blink of an eye well, I decided to take you outside for this one because it's just absolutely glorious. Look at that. Is that not beautiful or what? I get so excited when things turn out pretty. <laughs> oh, that abalone shell is beautiful. The glitter too. Wow, well, I got that glitter on Etsy called Medusa uh, so let me take you inside and we got all that pretty shimmer in the other areas so my friends that concludes the Kintsugi series I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I look forward to doing more of these pieces I really enjoyed doing them so let me know what you think so here are the other two I am just tickled pink. I love them. And I hope you do too. So if you're interested in either these two or the other one I just made, just shoot me an email. Remember, I'm in Mexico though, so it may take me a couple of days to get back to you. Uh, Art by Tammy at yahoo.com. I love you all. And until the next one, happy pouring.